YouTubers. It has been a while since my last update. I have started a family and uh, are about to get this house that you can see here. Uh, but before we're going to renovate the house, I am doing some play and learn with the playhouse here. And uh, because I like electricity and electronics, I hope my children will too. So I actually bought a solar panel that you can see up there. It's a small, small solar power panel. It's a six volt and uh, no, twelve volt DC and six watts. So it's. Uh, has a wire going through the twigs up there and above here to here. This is my small electrician box right here. So the black wire here is solar power, solar panel power in, and uh, this is a wire into the playhouse, as is this. So what I got here is a chemo charging regulator for a solar cell and a regulator that regulates the battery voltage to 12 volt DC into the house. And of course we have a small panel here that you can see the solar panel is currently disconnected so you can see a warning here it's some some uh, voltage is uh, flow, flowing backwards through the regulator so if we take this wire and connect it here can see that we got a green light on the so solar panel and we got a green light on the regulator that regulator it's uh, it's uh, has 12 volt regulation right now and the battery is 12.3 uh, uh, volts and it's about 82% charge Right now, I use a display from Denier, of course, because it's me and my brother's company. It's driven by a microchip PIC 18F452. Oh yeah, and a 12 volt battery, 4 amps hour. So let's take a little tour inside the inside the play playhouse. Up here we're going to have a outside lamp. It's going to be a 2 watt LED lamp that I bought from eBay. It's uh, about to be finished in here. We're going to get some uh, paper on that wall there. As you can see it's a bit dark in here right now, but we have three switches, outside lamp, inside lamp above the door, that one, and the inside love lamp on the ceiling. So now it's light in here, bright, and I assume that my children want to have some playing console or something in here so I have mounted a car adapter jack or plug jack in here so that it's it's 12 volt in here and here and uh, perhaps a small 12 volt Christmas candle here 
in the window here so that the people outside can see that. This is a uh, IKEA LED stripe that I have I had as a leftover from some lamps inside the house and I just soldered two wires to the connection. As you can see here somewhere. Oh it's bad focus on oh there. And just going into that box there. And down there. And this is a six watt LED 12 volt DC light that I also bought on eBay. So the only lamp missing right now is the lamp above the door here, which is going to be a 2 watt and it's going to be on continuously because it looks nice, cozy. But you can can shut it off from inside. So once again, solar panel down there on the roof, a wire going going from that roof roof to this uh, tree, from that tree to this tree. down into this box here it goes here down here into the regulator uh, from the regulator down to the battery and also from the battery to this regulator it's a buck boost converter so even if we doesn't have 10 uh, 12 volts on the battery we're gonna get 12 volts into the house and uh, from the converter into the house one way and the other way and also to this little board here this is just a prototype board also I, I should men mention uh, the finished product is not going to look like this and uh, this is not so moisture friendly so the different voltages that we are monitoring right now is the regulator voltage here, the battery voltage and the solar panel voltage. And I, I think that a 12 volt 4 amp hour battery should be sufficient for one or two days with the four hours of use with all lamps inside the playhouse more or less and I must say it, the lamp actually performs quite well let's see if I turn it off uh, the camera is trying to compensate but it's a lot of noise in the picture yeah that's much better nice floor in here right well thank you for watching and uh, goodbye